Everybody, everybody quiet so we can begin. Is the grave state of the world getting you down? Sick of the way things are, were, and are gonna be. You need a different kind of news program. One that shoots straight with surprising facts. It isn't nutmeg that's at stake in the Caribbean and Central America. A serious program that delivers the news with spirit and doesn't clown around. Well, not necessarily. It's not necessarily the news. Thursday on HBO. The following feature has been rated PG by the Motion Picture Association of America. Parental guidance is suggested. 36, 22, 34, 86. Maxwell Smart is back. You've heard of the naked gun, but would you believe the nude bomb? Nations of the world. This is chaos. We have in our power a devastating new weapon, rendering the entire world completely new. The fate of the entire world is in your hands. Maxwell's mouth is a fool and a bum. You cannot be too careful with your gun. Are you all right? Missed it by that much. Now I have an issue. A stapler telephone? That's fantastic, Carruthers. Can it also be used as a stapler? No. Oh, well, you better work on that. This thing runs on ink? That's fantastic, Carruthers. Why, do you realize that could be the answer to the fuel shortage? I'm afraid not. Special kind of ink comes from Saudi Arabia. I'll be at my piano number in half an hour. If you need me earlier, call me on my jockstrap. But please, just ring once. What did he say? He asked me to take my hand out of his groin. What did he say? He wants you to put your hand in his groin. Only one man has the power, the skill, and the charisma to save the world from global nudity. And loving it. Don Adams stars in The Nude Bomb. There are a lot of people out there that would like to see me dead. They're not all out there. better to solve England's most puzzling mystery than these two international crime busters. Yes. Good day. I'm Inspector Winship, and this is my assistant, Dr. Tart. With the law and the order. Gathering vital clues from every available source. Oh. Step by step, Tim Conway and Don Knotts prove murder can be deadly in the private eyes. Who will be the next victim? Got that message. Better send it off to the yard and let them know we're here. I suspect that they would like to see me dead. Well, you can relax now that we're here. Danger is their constant companion. Fear is an unknown factor. These people are dropping like flies. Don't you people realize that you're next unless we get to the bottom of this? Tea isn't supposed to foam. Stir it. These great sleuths, given the clue, come up with the perfect solution. Hey, we must be near a bowling alley. We have among us a murderer. And that killer is right here in this room. All right, all right hold it right there. Gun, gun, give me your gun. Tim Conway is the dim-witted Dr. Todd. And Don Knotts is the inept Inspector Winship. In... Oh my gosh! 
The Private Eye. Chevy Chase is Max Fiedler. Johnny Daytona. An air traffic controller who's losing control. 350. Hold there, friend. 350 for tuna? Copy your correction. Coming in at 350 from Tunis. Not you, Tunis. Maintain 325. He lives a modern life. With a modern girl. Modern friends. And modern problems. What seems to be the problem here? Well, his girlfriend moved out on him yesterday and mm -hmm. she took everything in the apartment and now she's here with some guy. That's fair enough. She wanted it, she took it, he let her. Everybody dumps on Max. Until a nuclear shower gives him the power and a green light. Oh, it's true. To get even. Max. Now he's out of control. And about to make this the funniest Christmas ever. This is demon powder. Now, he touched that, he died. Nobody knows. Chevy Chase. He's got hot brains. <laughs> like it. Oh, oh. And modern problems. <laughs> Patty Darvinville. Did you see that? Mary Kate Place. Hi, Max. Nell Carter. And Dabney Coleman. Modern problems. I blew it. I was a bad boy. <laughs> modern problems. It'll glow on you. From the madman who started it all. Mad Magazine presents Up the Academy. Welcome to Weinberg Academy for Boys, where cadets are in the hands of the most gifted faculty in the nation. Say it again. Mine, sir. Say it again. Mine, sir. Say it again. They will learn to function in an atmosphere of freedom. Jeez, I don't remember this barbed wire in any of the brochures. Shorts collection. They will develop basic skills of survival. I was just on my way to the laundry. Why don't you slip out of your little undershort? We're going to do our laundry tomorrow. They will be provided with intense intellectual stimulation. Smooth to the touch, but highly explosive. Any questions? But tensions from the classroom are often relieved on the playing field. Here, team effort is emphasized and individual accomplishment is applauded. Cultural activities are of equal importance. Hey, Ash. And social intercourse with members of the opposite sex is encouraged. Oliver! Good evening. With our instructors always setting the example. Do you like it when the gentleman ties you up? What? You know, with rope. This, then, is Weinberg Academy, where young men of good character are prepared to meet the future. Mm. Don't you know why you were sent here in the first place? Because you're outcast. If you can qualify, we invite you to apply. Remember, the men who change the world have to graduate from somewhere. <laughs> The Madman who started it all, Mad Magazine presents Up the Academy. It's time for a film that straightforwardly confronts modern issues. Women's rights. <laughs> Police brutality, traffic congestion, littering, and bad diets. Go and eight. Rated PG. I want to officially welcome you to the Ellison Group of Companies and to Pickett's Beer. And I think that you'll find our method of operation will make for a higher output and a smoother running machine.
Thank you. Up yours! Take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. This is the comedy about a young man who has it all. Women, money, success. And who gambles it all by going back to his hometown. Taking over the local brewery. And taking on the establishment. your job and shove it. Robert Hayes, star of Airplane, Barbara Hershey, Martin Mull, and Art Carney is picking. <laughs> Take this job and shove it. Take this job and shove it. He's sexy. <laughs> Zany. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> Recognize that famous sign, huh? Oh, yes, senor. It is a number two. No, it's the sign of... Zorro! Zorro! Oh, oh, Zorro! That is a little more like it. 20th Century Fox and Melvin Simon Productions present George Hamilton. And George Hamilton as... Zorro! <laughs> One destiny. Perhaps the helpless. Two brothers. To befriend the friendless. One legend. To defeat the feedless. Two color schemes. I thought it helps to keep them guessing. Thrill to the magnificent return of the two and only Sorrow. While you're waiting for here he is, arrest him for the Swing with Sorrow. Ball with Sorrow. And catch a few Z's with Zorro. You're the bravest man I've ever met. I'm very impressed with myself, too. Out of the night, out of the past, out of the legend, comes George Hamilton. George Hamilton, Lauren Hutton, Brenda Vaccaro, Ron Liebman. Zorro! And a cast of peasants in Zorro, the gay blade. Monty Capoletti is just a regular guy. He loves his family, with a few exceptions. It's mother! Leave him, dear. Just simply walk out on him. His entire body is bloodshot. He'll never change. She says, I drink too much, I smoke too much, I gamble. I got no, uh... Class, you're an ecological menace. Yeah, well, you were the inspiration for twin beds. He respects his friends as much as they deserve. Sweetheart, watch out for this guy. He'll buy you a bottle of beer and squeeze the schlitz out of you, know? He's proud of his daughter. So hung up on you. Yeah, good idea. I'll see you in church. She's getting married. I'm sure it's a good idea. Over Hi. his dead body. She's beautiful. Yeah. Who's that with her? Can I call you dad? And he enjoys his job. Okay, hold it he there. Even if it kills him. <laughs> we gotta stay still. We want to get a good picture. He was cruising down the highway of life when his luck took a turn for the better. To my beloved daughter Rose, I bequeath ten million dollars if her husband Monty can reform himself in one year. You could do that standing on your head. But the road to riches is nobody's freeway. No smoking. No Phil Andrews. Hi. You ain't worth ten million. Five million, maybe. No gambling. Hey, money. Pick around for a hundred. No alcohol. No 
no drugs. I'm sorry, it was an emergency. And you must weigh not more than 175 <laughs> pounds. Yeah, thanks to jogging more people than ever are dropping dead in perfect health. It's easy money. Remember, we'll be watching you. Will Rodney Dangerfield shape up or crack up? With $10 million hanging in the balance, there's no such thing one up here. Check my arm. as easy money. Somewhere behind granite battlements, beyond impenetrable gates, Indoors, something evil is brewing, and it isn't Elsinore beer. Here, an unsuspecting heiress has become the innocent pawn of a diabolical genius. At his command, space-age super lasers that can incinerate an entire metropolis. An army of deadly hockey warriors. At his fingertips, Lots of beer. Just one more test, and then we are ready for the world. What fool dares stand in his way? Good day, I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother Doug. How's it going, eh? Welcome to our movie, eh? At last, television's Dave Thomas and Rick Moranis have just hit... The Great White Screen. Oh. These are the adventures of Bob and Doug McKenzie, Strange Brew. That's private company business. Perhaps one of these would refresh your memory. The gallant champions of truth. He's lying, all right. I don't need no machine to tell me that. Hey, I didn't do it, I swear. It must be them. Justice. I think it's time the little lady and I had a chat. And the pursuit of bad guys. <laughs> We will move towards Oktoberfest as planned. I can't believe it! He drank it all! Oh, no! And I will not underestimate our little friends again. With Max Fonsino. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Paul Dooley. You murdered him first! And he was already dead when I killed him! Lynn Griffin. I didn't have puke breath. I'd kiss you. And an all-star cast. Take off, you old. <laughs> you take off, you nut. <laughs> oh, okay! Don't miss the biggest, the grandest, the first McKenzie Brothers movie of all time. The Adventures of Bob and Doug McKenzie. I'd like to thank the Academy. Academy. That's it. We're leaving, kid. Strange Brew. You hoes, they wanted to see our movie, now they're mad at them. Take off. It's only a preview, eh? I didn't want to show them the best part. Okay, so that's our topic for today. So, good day. Hey, you guys. What? Take off. In all the Spanish main, only one name makes cutthroats <laughs> hoist their sails, hide their loot, <laughs> and hold their noses. <laughs> Yellowbeard. Bucket around and be quick about it. The terror of the seas. Fighting the scum of the earth for the gold of the realm. In the comedy of the century. The 17th century. The chase is on for Yellowbeard's treasure, with Graham Chapman as Yellowbeard. Kill this stupid old bugger! Oh, hold your horses. I can't kill him. He brought me up. Just like a father. Oh, you mean he's beaten you and kicked you and smashed you in the teeth? Yeah. No. No. He's been kind and gentle. What kind of father is that? Kill him. I said hands off. Peter Boyle as Moon. Any volunteers, just lie down on the ground with your eyes shut. Oh, yeah. oh. Peter Cook as the nobleman. Oh, yeah. Oopsie daisy. You may bang your head on the floor until forgiven. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Cheech and Chong as the Spaniards. Marty Feldman as the hatchet man. I'm afraid you forced my hand. No, I forced your nose. Martin Hewitt as Yellowbeard's son. I think I love you. 
Come on, lad. Let pirate in to be done. Michael Horden as Dr. Gilpin. The brains of the outfit. <laughs> Eric Idle as the secret agent. There's a ship behind you. Good Lord, sir. Sir? Madeline Kahn as Yellowbeard's wife. What, you again? Again? I haven't seen you for 15 years. What is it this time? James Mason as the captain. Is there anyone here who does not wish to be a member of Her Majesty's Navy? Peace out! And John Cleese as the Queen's eye. He's blind, you stupid son! I may be blind, but I have acute hearing. I'm not interested in your jewelry, cloth eyes. I'm trying to conduct yellow beard. What is here? Run! For a shipload of laughs, it's yellow beard. The comedy that goes out on a limb. That is pathetic! They were trained at the police academy. They were toughened on the streets of L.A. And now they're ready for night patrol. All right, you guys, prepare for inspection. All right, officers. I want to clean up this city. Officer 79, take the Hollywood area. Yes, yes. Oh, this is the toughest part of town. Officer 2 and 6. Yes, yes sir. Kind of town. Yes, yes sir. sir. We've got to completely surround it. <laughs> And officers four and one. All right, you guys take the part. Ooh, that means we get to wear our dress. <laughs> There's romance. Danger. Don't ever call me dumb. Heroism. You are what? Oh my God, he's got a kid. Oh, he shot the kid. And there's plenty of sexy girls. Who are you that? telling not to get excited? It's educational. Hey, your flies down. Oh, yeah. The long arm of the law has never reached this low. Night Patrol. <laughs> Civil servants doing what they do best. Don't you make a move or I'll blow your brains out! <laughs> Night Patrol. Dirty night, night Patrol. The secret of a successful beer is advertising! That makes what? sense. You are about to enter the dynamic, high-pressured world of advertising. You're all yes-men. Whenever I ask you a question, you're always going to say yes. What good is that? I need men who will tell me what they think. Am I right, Reamer? Yes. You're fired. Get out! Don't look back. Press the down button. Here, creative people team up to exchange brilliant ideas. Ideas that will influence everything from what we drive. Okay, honey, do your stuff. To what we put in our mouths. I don't like it. All right, then picture this, and how about this? Longer cans. I hate it. Smythe, you're the uh, creative director. Uh, you got anything you can uh, throw out at us here? We get a bunch of guys. They work in construction. And after a hard day's work, they reach for some Norbecker beer. They all reach for a beer. Each one gets a beer. Then they hold them up. Smythe, <laughs> you're fired. Get out. Mr. Femer. Yes, Miss Tucker, what does the lady executive have to say? I'm putting together a concept. And now, you're about to experience more drama. I will smash Anakin. And more action than you've ever expected in a light comedy. When me and my buddies are drinking Norbecker Pilsner, we don't like being disturbed. Norbecker Pilsner. Have one. If you're tough enough. I want macho. What has beer got to do with being a man? <laughs> Alcoholism, divorce, violence in the streets. We're doing great. You pick the right kind of guys for this sort of thing. Me and my buddies, case of Nora Becker, and let nature take its course. Commercial over your guy? Those commercials, come on, fellas. They are disgusting. They are degrading. Or are they? Let's find out. Oh, it's 
trying to make a living like everybody else. So come on, guys. We thought you know our beggars. Beer. The funniest movie ever to come out of a bottle. Why is everyone looking for Tom Hanks? Disgusting fiend. Oh, come on, Morris. There he is. Because he was in the right place, at the right time, in the wrong shoe. Now, double agents are fascinated by him. Why the one red shoe? Beautiful women are attracted to him. I knew it was you. Could you please just step aside? You're cooking now. May I help you? And complete strangers are knocked out by his charm. Something wrong? No, Mom. You seem tense. I, I did pass out today and got hit in the head by a baseball. Then brushed my teeth with shampoo. My clothes fell apart. But no, I'm, uh, I'm not tense. You need to relax. And I'm going to help. I think you're falling for this guy. How do you like that? Are you an agent? No, but, but I used to have an agent. Are you a spy? Of course not. I'm no more a spy than you're a spy. Waste him! Let me just ask one thing! Tom Hanks, Dabney Coleman, Laurie Singer, Charles Durning, Carrie Fisher, and Jim Belushi. Oh, come on! In this summer's most hilarious comedy, that's one step ahead of the rest. The Man with One Red Shoe. This is Emmett Fitzhume. He's an information officer at State. Started there in 74 as a mailboy. His father got him his job. This is Austin Millbarge. He's a repair supervisor in DIA's code-breaking arm at the Pentagon. He's good with hardware. He's got some Russian. They're the best men we have. Two teams. One to do the job, the other to be a diversion. You mean decoys? Exactly. We've got a very special assignment for you two. Foreign service? Yes. Undercover work? Yes. Emma Fitzhugh. Austin Milbarge. When do we begin our training? Right away. We're just hitching a ride with these guys. They won't make us jump. Jump? No chance. Let's go! Let's go! Go? What does he mean? Go! Ugh! Piece of cake. I believe we found our decoys. Pakistan? We're Americans! Cut the sucker. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Will you marry me? Chevy Chase. Don't I get a phone call? Dan Aykroyd. Look at it. Doctor? 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 <laughs> Glad I'm not sick. America, get ready for a new breed of heroes. Get yourself cleaned up. Give it a reassign. Oh, don't be such a wussy. A little toxic waste isn't gonna kill you. Columbia Pictures presents John Candy. <laughs> Eugene Levy. Right. Armed and dangerous. Oh, this was a mistake. They're on a mission. Undercover. Special assignment. <laughs> Very hush hush. <laughs> Shut up. They have to do the job. If you tell anyone about this, yeah, I'm gonna send a postcard to my family. But there's just one problem. They're idiots. John Candy is Frank. What are you looking at, you shit? Oh, me. I got my Christmas goose early. <laughs> Eugene Levy is no. Sounds a little sucky when you say it out loud. What are you hauling? Rocket fuel. Together, we look like a dance team. They're armed and dangerous. If I had known it was going to be this kind of party, I would have worn underwear. Oh, you clumsy boy. These girls wonderful. Not really, I just want to 
them to come running in from the lobby thinking that they missed something. Ha! I'm Ed Stewart, movie star, also known as Bobcat Goldthwait, and me and my friends John Cusack and Demi Moore. I hate boats. I'm not getting on any boat. I beg to differ. Just had one crazy summer. Your dad said you were collecting shells. Shells? 57 millimeter. We did all the normal things people do. Hey, little boy, will you hold on to this for me? Made friends. Sorry. Oh, no. Saw the sights. Please, your enormous is anything but chilly. Killed our own food. Dazzled women. Ah! Are you ready for me, Hoops? We were party animals. Help me. Everyone loved us. My car. And we loved every minute. I felt a little bit better about who I was and where I was going. Okay, let's move it out. Here we go. Ah, wave. Ah. It really was one crazy summer. Ah. Rudy Robles had a knack for being in the right place at the right time. Until this time. Where's your green card? Green card? I don't have a green card. Where were you born? I was born in East L.A., man. Hey, look at the tape! Hey, get over here, somebody. I'm an American. Get your hand Adios, get your amigo. Hand. Habla español. <laughs> <laughs> Help! I've been deported! I'll get you across the border. Don't shoot us, American! I was a Cub Scouts. I got, I got a merit badge. I was an altar boy. You give this man a rubber tortilla. I can't even speak Spanish. In two weeks' time, you're gonna have enough money. I mean, if you work overtime. Passports, green cards. Okay, you're now Fernando Valenzuela. You had 21 wins last year. All right. Ah, uh, paradise. Go. All right, everyone here, you're crossing illegally. Cheech Marin. I was born in East L.A. Born in East L.A. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all are beautiful people. East L.A. Michael Keaton could be the unluckiest man in the world. Ah! Why look that dumb? Just ask his only friend. I don't know what's wrong with you lately. You're lacking something. Harry? His ex-wife. I'm an alpha poco. You know, I'm not a romantic, but that's low, Norman. Or his last employer. I want to hear those two magic words. Is finish. You want two magic words? More gloss. Don't be killed with me, Harry. The slime! A human slime? But his love. <laughs> and his life. Are about to turn around. Because whoever has his hands on this black box can't wow. lose. We're looking for this box. Stay away from it. It's very, very dangerous. I'll take a little off the sides there. <laughs> You're messing with the cart rights now, son. Get a cocktail sauce. Let's go, Marvin! <laughs> You've got a mean streak. You stop the car, will you? Get it to me! <laughs> Ray Charles? Michael Keaton. It's really a big gun, huh? Ray Dawn Chung. <laughs> the squeeze. The comedy on a lucky. I guess I should have known from the beginning. It was going to be one of those days. His name is... Jerry Mitchell. Hi, Jerry. 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 Hi, I'm, I'm Jerry Mitchell. I'm with the school paper. <laughs> he just met the new kid in school. The guy's the closest thing to Charlie Manson ever seen at Weaver. Now, we're going to have a fight today after school. He's got six hours to get out of it. It's been quite a morning, Jerry. You can say that again. He'll try running. I wouldn't leave school without a good reason. He'll try bribery. If I can get that money, do you think you'd do it for me? Ravel will never bother you again. Guaranteed. He'll try robbery. I hear you're giving Jerry Mitchell a hard time. 
until finally the fight is on you and me in the parking lot three o'clock jerry's got a lot on his mind 10 seconds but he's not thinking about math or english five seconds because at three o'clock he's gonna make history there isn't gonna be any fight today <laughs> Freddie, you can't be a broker. I got a big deal cooking right now on the burner. Who in the right mind would give you their money? Fred Cheney's going through hard times. Get him out of here, Osborne. I don't care what it takes. But he's about to get some badly needed help. Fred, we've got to talk. Straight from the horse's mouth. Ah, jeez, don't scream like that. Oh, wop, wop, loop, wop, lamb, bam. So prepare yourself for a motion picture. <laughs> There's a horse in here. So astounding. He's right. The brand new? No problem. I can hold it. So outrageous. What do you think of this, Mr. Horse? Oh, yeah. So thrilling. And so sexy. She uh, wants to know what it's like to face somebody during sex. Whoa! That it'll bring out the animal in you. Oh, baby. Bob Goldthwait. Honestly, he really does talk. Hi, Allison. It's a pleasure to meet you. Dabney Coleman. <laughs> and the ultimate party animal, Don. Whoops, don't fail me now. In Hot to Trot. A womp, bum, a loom, off, lop, bam, boom. Thank you. <laughs> We're out of here. Put your game face on. Here we go. That's the best backhand I've ever seen on Thor's Four major league psychotics. I've never agreed with that diagnosis. We're on a field trip to a ball game. Hit the road, Jack. Yeah. Don't you come back. When their doctor disappeared. We've run into one complication. Murder. What you say? Could you recommend a good clinical psychiatrist in the neighborhood? We seem to have lost ours. Now. We ran into a little snag out here. Somebody's trying to kill Dr. Weitzman. I fear my doctor may have been seized by the Romans. They're on their own. Kind of wanted by the police right now. Bummer. They're off their medication. <sighs> ah, it's great to be young and insane. And they're about to give the world a dose of reality. We're a special combat unit with the United States Marine Corps. We've been tracking some Libyan terrorists. In fact, I think we've got them trailed to a bagel shop around the corner. Give me a break. All right, we're four escaped lunatics. Yes, I believe. Oh, we gotta pull Whites out of the hospital before those two cops come back. We are all naked in the eyes of the Lord! Oh! Will someone please take me back to my room? Those four nuts are still rattling around somewhere. There's an APB out on them. Look out! We came to town to see a ball game, now they want to give us the chair. Hold it. I love New York. Bring your kids, have them arrested. Do some time in the Big Apple. Michael Keaton, Christopher Lloyd, Peter Boyle. Stephen first. This is crazy. I can relate to that. I got news for you, psychos. We're getting better. Yeah! The Dream Team. Arise and walk, my son. Coming soon to a theater near you. My fellow Americans, I'm here to tell you about an exciting new special. I'd, uh, um, on HBO. It's called Rich Little and a Night of 42 Stars. I am, um, and um, uh, hell, it should be a lot of fun. We'll all be there, so be sure and watch. It, uh, I'd, because it'll mean so much to us. Especially me. Especially me. Uh, especially me. On Location, Rich Little. Premiering Saturday, November 16th on HBO. <laughs> Talk about your hot date. Keep this firecracker away from an open flame or the sparks will start to fly. Mind your manners, dear. Nice girls don't explode. 